so in this video I want to show you guys how uh, how did I set up my van uh, if you got any questions you can you know ask me email me and I'll uh, I'll be happy to help and uh, and tell you how I did it I bought it empty and uh, built it pretty much myself uh, got some some stuff from Craigslist and some some stuff I bought new and yeah let's show let me show you so this is the main entrance to the van so I got my you know toolbox with all the tools that I'm taking to the customers it's, uh, it's a good spot for it right away you know you remove the clip take the toolbox done got plenty of storage that we all need that I know like whoever in the industry know that when you you know storage for the keys all this it's keys keys and keys this is another storage from the and uh, it's like one two three four five units five or six whatever and uh, I'll show you in a bit so one of those sliding drawers really handy for you know locks I got a bunch of ignitions on there on the back you know, you know residential locks and it's hella deep it's go all the way in so very handy thing here we got all the you know, cutting machines that's how I set it up you know put it on a corner computer grinder another key machine some boxes stuff you know electrical stuff like screws dream mill all this stuff is over there that's a working station over here got a rekey set some soldering equipment here is a uh, key machines you know copy bleeds all this stuff uh, more storage we all need storage don't we that's that's a soldering station over here another like little working space especially for soldering more storage more storage and it's never enough so this is mainly for keys and like small stuff and very handy you know it's organized all the keys are here you can put like you know I, I carry batteries like for remotes on the top and really nice thing it's you know clip on there's a release and a very nice very light especially you know I bought it because of the weight and the, and the setup it's like you put one on top of each other it's like one two three four five six units together so you just put them one on top of each other and clip it in over here very very recommended the walled just like i think home depot got a really good sale on it right now 30 something bucks per unit you can get it from amazon as well and it's a bigger storage areas compartments and the storage on the on the bottom and another one over here some tools you know grinders and, and cutting disc and stuff that's my battery screen pretty much shows me how much power I left my my battery setup is a little different from most of the folks it's it's a it's most an, like an RV system I'll be happy to explain if somebody has questions that's a very important sticker over here. Everybody should have one. Let me show you from the back. That's what the back looks like. So got like toolboxes. You know, some most of them they to go. Sometimes you need a toolbox with some I don't know mortise locks and stuff like this, and you just take it and go to the job site or whatever. We got an inverter charger over here, hooked up to four 6 volt golf batteries, 250 amps per hour each, which together gives me 24 uh, 
I'm sorry, 12 volts and uh, what is like 450, 500 amp per hour, something like that. So basically I can work a whole week and charge the system only once, once a week. And I'm working, I mean working all day. There's another storage apartment with some, you know, cables and stuff like this inside. So yeah, if you got any questions guys, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to help, give you some tips how I did it. Alright, see you next video. Bye.